Hello, I came across this $90 anthropology pillow online and I loved it so much I wanted to try and make it at home for a fraction of the price. I am new to this so I am sorry for the poor quality of the video but I hope it is somewhat easy to follow along to and maybe some part of the video will inspire you to get creative and make your own pillow. Please read the description below for everything you'll need and let's get started. Now that our measurements are complete, uh, let's begin work on these tassels. They are very simple to do. You can find lots of tutorials, I'm sure. I would just like to give you a general idea of the length and size that I used. So I cut out a piece of cardboard box and this is five centimeters. And by using this cotton yarn, which will be used for a lot of the project that we are going to do, wrap this around 30 times. And this is the length and thickness that I preferred for my tassels. So if you look closely here at the top, I've used embroidery floss. Um, and at the bottom, I've used the edge of a needle and gone ahead and frayed the tassel. It took a little bit of time, but I did think it was worth it. And yeah, just go ahead and do 12 tassels and we'll just keep them aside for now. All right, so we're just gonna thread the yarn through the needle, cut about an arm's length. And the thing to note here is that we are not tying both of them together. We are just tying the one side. Just go ahead and make a knot. And what we are going to do is the knot side is going to be longer than the one that's not knotted. Alright, so we're just doing that for all the squiggly lines across. And now I just wanted to show you we've reached a point where I've run out of my yarn. So I just want to show you how you close off the end. We're just taking um, our needle and going through the other, the last stitch that we did. And we can just go ahead and make a knot. I think I just went off screen a bit, so I'll show you one more time. So you just go under the stitch. And my needle actually came out while I was doing that. And you could even do it just by hand. And there you go. You've just uh, secured the knot there. And that will stay nice and snug. All right, so now that we're done our squiggly lines, we are going to go to our next step, which is right over here, the top and bottom. I'll show you a closer look. As you can see, it's just the yarn that we were using before for tassels um, and for sewing. 
So you're just going to measure out the length um, about the size of your pillow. I just went a little bit extra on the sides because when you twist it, it uses a little bit more of the yarn. And then just um, use six of those strands. And now that we have the strands, we are going to twist them. And that makes it look like a rope. So to put that onto the pillow, we are using embroidery floss. And I just quickly want to show you how I did the embroidery floss. I did it the same method as the yarn before, where you are just knotting one side. And for this one, I've just knotted it once or twice extra, just so that it's securely placed behind the pillowcase and that it's not coming through. All right, so now that we're done that, we're gonna go to our next step, which has our little tassel, double-ended tassels, I guess, um, accessory on there. So we're gonna do the same method we did for the rope using six strands. And now just using 100% um, cotton thread, we are going to wrap this around our hand. So four fingers loosely, just so that it's easier for you to pull out uh, the thread from your hands. And then just wrap that around 100 times. and put that to the side and just go ahead and thread a little bit of thread through the needle because you will need that to secure onto the pillow. So just secure the rope starting at the very edge of the pillow and yeah just make sure you're, it's nice and secure since it is a, a thread. And what I've done is just pushed it through a little bit uh, in the rope to secure the rope in place. You can also use glue gun. And then I've just carried it far enough that now I can secure the double ended tassel. And for each side, I just went ahead and did it twice, just so that it's nice and secure.
final stage. So three sides of the pillow will be sewn together using a sewing machine. And for the fourth side, fold in a little piece and sew it together. The back piece of the pillow should be cut the same size as the front piece. And using a chalk, mark where the pillow should be sewn together. This will help in aligning the pieces together perfectly. So this is my mom helping me sew the three sides using a sewing machine. Um, again, you can just sew by hand, uh, but this is just a little bit of guidance for those who want to use their sewing machine. If you're doing it by hand, just skip to the next and final part of our pillow making process. Alright you guys just want to show you uh, the sides sewn by the sewing machine and after inserting a 45 by 45 pillow I just closed it off by hand and it doesn't have to be perfect and if there's any yarn that's sticking out or anything that you want to fix just use a glue gun and you can easily fix those um, little imperfections and there you go hope you enjoyed my anthropology dupe pillow.